Hi. We'd like to give you a demonstration of our novel system for freeform gesture-based authentication. Before we look at our system, however, let's look at a couple of existing methods commonly used on mobile devices. They fall into two categories, pin-based authentication and the nine-dot visually cued gesture authentication. First, let's look at the pin method. Next, Let's see an example of the 9-dot visually cued method. The security of both of these methods is bounded by the size of the password space. The pin method is limited by its length and symbol set, while the 9-dot method is limited by the number of points the line must pass through and the lack of repeated nodes. While the number of possible passwords may seem sufficient for security, in practice, User behaviors drastically reduce the size of the password space utilized. These methods are thus vulnerable to attacks taking advantage of this reduced space. For example, commonly chosen numbers or attempting patterns of shorter length. The 9-dot method is further vulnerable to smudge-based attacks. These limitations are not the case for free-form gesture-based authentication. There is no clear method for reducing the complexity of a freeform gesture. Even if you take the simplest attempt at counting the space, the square of the product of the horizontal and vertical resolutions, and then assume the most naive gesture, a perfectly straight line, the size of the space does not see the massive complexity reduction that one sees when using a dictionary word attack. Using a novel information-theoretic metric, we can identify secure freeform gestures. We use a second-order autoregressive model to compute the mutual information between two gestures, each captured as sequences of points. The benefit of this second-order model is that it captures the physical principle that once the direction and velocity of the movement are determined, constant motion contains no information. The residuals correspond to deviations from this constant movement, and are thus the portions of the sequence unexplained by the model. They can then be used to gauge the surprisingness of the trajectory, referred to as the surprisal. These pairs of residuals are ultimately used to compute the mutual information of the two gestures. Using this mutual information as a basis for our metric has appealing properties for an index of security. It is able to separate the complexity due to intended aspects of the gesture from that due to the unintended and hence non-reproducible aspects. Secondly, it is invariant under linear transformations, such as a change of scale, translation, or rotation. This greatly enhances the ability of users to reliably authenticate. The following is an example of a low mutual information gesture. In contrast, this is a high mutual information gesture. While the high mutual information gesture is more secure by our metric, it is not more difficult to memorize than the one with low mutual information, as our study shows. We also show that our system is significantly more resistant to shoulder surfing than the previously mentioned classical methods. The pin-based method has a high vulnerability to shoulder surfing, because the entire secret is revealed, while the 9-dot visually cued method is vulnerable because the secret is again visible, and the line snapping to visual cues aids the attacker. The free-form nature of our gestures addresses these vulnerabilities because the execution details, for example, the speed at which the curves are drawn, or the sharpness of the angles made, are just as important as the observed pattern. 